Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Swan, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some palace style loops. I made this really fire palace inspired sample, and I really wanna show you guys how I made it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So before I carry on, I wanna just play you guys the sample. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So first I went into this Omnisphere right here and I pulled up the Veltzmeister uh, Clavinet EP Spacey and uh, I went and laid down these very, very simple repetitive chords. without the effects now with the effects i added an eq and a sketch cassette uh, with the default preset um so yeah this is what it sounds like with and without the effects so yeah, it just kind of adds that kind of like lo-fi type of vibe um, so yeah, which I really wanted. So next I opened up Omnisphere again and I picked this analog echo droplets uh, I kind of wanted to add something that would add a bit more rhythm to the sample. So uh, here's what uh, this sounds like So yeah, it's the same chords, but it just adds, you know, some uh, rhythm to the sample. So I added an EQ to cut the lows, a primal tap with the default preset, just to kind of add a tiny bit of like delay and an effect rack with the liquid vibe, just, you know, for that kind of like modulation uh, effect. Uh, so this is what it sounds like with and without. So it just sounds uh, a little thinner and little, a little more uh, subtle. And uh, yeah, so next I went into labs and I picked this mandolin and I went and like uh, laid down these uh, notes right here. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, uh, I added a couple of effects. I added an EQ to cut the lows out and an effect rack with this uh, Where You Experience preset. Uh, it just has like some panning, like random panning, uh, some primal tap, uh, some radiator for some uh, saturation and crystallizer uh, for like a kind of like weird uh, filter delay reverb type of thing. Uh, so with and without, it sounds like this. So yeah, it just sounds a lot better. Um, then I went into Contact and I went into the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra and I pegged this uh, Duduk tenor and uh, I laid down uh, this pattern right here. So yeah, very, very repetitive and I added uh, some Stereo One Imager and an EQ to cut the lows out. And uh, and yeah, the main thing with these palace type of samples is you wanna keep the melodies very, very simple, very repetitive. Uh, just have a good, uh, like some solid chords. And then a lot of it is gonna be the sound selection. You know, I'm picking like really, really cool and good sounding uh, Duduks, for example, from Contact or, you know, this like mandolin from Labs. And uh, the mandolin didn't sound how I wanted it to sound, but you know, that's when the sound designing 
uh, comes in and um, yeah, I, I, you know, I know what affects the throne and to get the sound that I want. Um, so yeah, pretty much then I rendered everything out and uh, I lowered the sample rate of, I think the, uh, this part right here. Yeah, I lowered the sample rate of um, the Duduk pattern and uh, rendered it all as uh, one sample. And then, um, oh wait, I actually didn't talk about what I did. Yeah, I actually didn't talk about what I did, uh, the last effects for the final sample. So uh, I routed it to mixer track eight, let me see. Okay, yeah. So I added a spin from Clevran with the bright velocity preset. Um, I turned down the drive down, I'm pretty sure. And I turned down the mix to 15%. And then I added this Gooders Wow Control with the good cassette preset. Um, yeah, with the amount at 6% so that it's not too, too detuned. So yeah, the spin just kind of like adds a tiny bit of like movement and uh, saturation also. And uh, the Good Hurts Wow Control adds a bit of, uh, you know, wow and flutter and some detune effect. Uh, you know, just to, you know, always, always with the aim of like making it sound kind of vintage, kind of old, uh, processed. And uh, yeah, this is what the final sample sounds like. So yeah guys, super easy sample, very, very easy to just throw in and throw some drums on it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the sample. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, let me know what you guys would wanna see me do next, what type of tutorial you wanna see me do next. I recently put up a poll in my community tab uh, asking you guys what you guys would wanna see next between a one-shot kit, a sample library, or a MIDI kit. A lot of the votes came back saying you guys wanted some one-shot kits. So let me know in the comments if that's still something you're interested in or uh, if you'd rather like a sample library or whatever, uh, you just let me know. And yeah, that's it from me today and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.